Hello. <laughs> uh, the Hirschholt Award is given to an individual in the motion picture industry whose humanitarian efforts have brought credit to the industry. To his cause, Michael J. Fox has brought understanding, empathy, and resolve, and with it, inspiration to millions who now stand a little taller, speak in a voice a little stronger, and hold on just a little tighter to something all of humanity needs a whole lot more of, hope. I was at a party in Hollywood, and uh, I don't recall the specifics of the time, <laughs> other than it was in the mid-80s, and uh, it was a Thursday, uh, and it, it was about 8.34 p.m. Other than that, I don't really remember, but uh, naturally, I was in the kitchen where all good parties end up, and uh, I just stepped outside for a little air <laughs> and uh, and suddenly you know I come back seem like everyone at the party just evaporated so I walk into the living room and, and there is everybody watching a television show so I stopped and watched and there was this kid who looked to be in high school on the screen and he was electric what he could do with a look or a pause. You know, I was watching a phenomenon in the making. And I mean, I, I think of myself as pretty funny and very funny when I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy was a, a master class in comedy. And that was my first introduction to Michael J. Fox. A year or two later, uh, he did Back to the Future. He was the biggest star in the world. Uh, uh, and we were having a Cheers Christmas party. I know you remember this, Mike. And he came by, and this was when I first actually got to meet him, and he was incredibly gracious. And he loved the show, and he, he loved my character, I will say. And. Uh, <laughs> You know, he, was this, he has this amazing ability when uh, people uh, approach him to tell him how great he is, he turns the tables and he makes those, th those people feel great. And I would see him do this so many times over so many years. Uh, you know, Mike, is, he's a genuinely great guy. I mean, what can I say? He's Canadian. Uh, and we, we, uh, we had a nice chat. And then he got up on stage with the band who was doing Johnny B. Good, and he did his solo from Back to the Future. And I can tell you, everyone from the Cheers cast and crew felt very lucky to witness this performance, other than one lady who was not feeling Christmassy and who promptly kicked him out. Yes, and that woman became my wife. Sorry, it's a cheap joke. No, but anyway. Uh, so I, I had this company making uh, round beach towels. So now when the, the sun moves, your towel doesn't have to. Yeah, this is, I tell you, it was another one of those savant investments that's, that's really kept me in fine fettle all these years. Uh, so I brought over to Mike a couple of towels as an apology for getting kicked out of the party, and he said, let's hang out sometime. And I said, okay, yeah, let's hang out sometime. And, and we became good friends. Uh, a bit later, he recommended me for a part in a film called Doc Hollywood. And that's good, the old people cheering. Uh, but it, it, was, <laughs> it was my leap from uh, Cheers to the big screen, and I owe it to you, Mike. And, uh, uh, but anyway, one morning while we were in Florida, his pinky was twitching, 
and he, he wasn't sure it was, if it was from the 20 minutes of slap boxing we'd done in the parking lot the night before. So he saw a doctor who was the first doctor who suggested to him he might have Parkinson's. Uh, he told me, and I, I just couldn't believe it because there is such an invincible superhuman quality about Mike. All of you who know him know that's true. Well, he never missed a step, never wallowed in self-pity as I would have done. And uh, instead, he turned a chilling diagnosis into a courageous mission. I went to visit him in Thailand when he was filming Casualties of War. And one night, Mike took us to the end of the jungle and we stopped at this little hut. And Mike, you know, ran out of the car. This kid runs up to him and he hands him like thousands of baht, which probably amounted to about $16. And then the kid led him to this little space that had a chest high uh, wall of concrete around it and they both jumped so over it. So I run up to the wall. I couldn't believe it. You know, I look in there and Mike is sitting next to this kid with dozens of cobras all around them ready to strike. And not, no jest. And, and, the, uh, and the kid was touring with these, with these cobras. He would stick his knee in front of them, you know? And then the, the cobra would try to strike and he'd just move his knee in time and then just smack him in the back of the head. He taunted a bunch of these cobras, and then he found the orneriest cobra, grabbed it by the neck, threw it in a cage with the mongoose, where I saw the craziest fight I've ever seen <laughs> between any animals, other than studio executives. And uh, you, you guys know I'm kidding, of course. Uh, and the mongoose won. They took the snake, yeah, tied it by its tail, wrung the blood out, half filled four glasses with cobra blood and half with Thai whiskey. Drinking the cobra blood is called becoming brother to the snake. Um, Mike and I drank lots of things together uh, and he can hold his own. What can I say? He's Canadian. Uh, but Mike promptly vomited his snake cocktail. He never could hold his uh, cobra blood. Uh, anyway, I said I thought, well, I, thought I, I thought it was one of the funniest jokes I ever said. I said, hey, Mikey, he likes it. Which, oh, yeah, well, they didn't get it laughed then, but it's, it's gratifying. Now, anyway, <laughs> the famed acting coach Stella Adler reminded us that the word theater comes from the Greeks. It means the seeing place. It is a place people come to see the truth about life. Michael J. Fox never asked for the role of Parkinson's patient or disease advocate, but make no mistake, it is his greatest performance. Michael brought the world to the seeing place where we all feel invested in finding a cure for a cruel disease. Vulnerable, yes. A victim, never. An inspiration, always. And a <laughs> and a living, breathing symbol and singular voice to help advance progress toward a cure through the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. So far, he's raised over $1 billion for the cause. So, someone once told me, people will remember your example, not your advice. I mean, I advised him, is that necessarily true? No, but Mike, <laughs> Michael J. Fox sets the ultimate example of how to fight and how to live. And today, he is as beloved for his activism as he is for his acting. Please join me for a look at the life and a snapshot 
of the story of someone whose immense talent is surpassed only by the depth of his courage and his commitment to a cause. I love you, brother.